What's up guys, and in this video we're going to be quickly getting into how you can set up your Google Analytics tracking code inside of your Shopify store. So a couple reasons why you'd want to do this is one, uh, Google Analytics is another way that you can um, track a lot of different um, data and a bunch of stuff that's going to go on um, once you start sending traffic to your store, and Shopify has analytics here, but Google... Um, provides a little bit more in-depth analytics so it's definitely a nice thing to have set up right away and then number two uh, having your analytics set up uh, helps with creating um, remarketing audiences um, when you start using google adwords campaigns so it's definitely a good thing to have analytics set up um, before you launch your store so in order to set this up it's pretty simple and then you'll see we'll come here to google.com slash analytics and then once you're here, you go to sign in and click analytics right here. Now um, I'm signed in to my main Gmail account, which already has analytics um, created on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to this tab because this is what it's going to look like if you don't have analytics created yet with your Gmail account. So um, we're just going to go ahead and go here. So just to make sure you are following, um, if you go up here to sign in and click analytics and you don't have an account, uh, this is the screen you're going to be taken to. So we'll come right here and then just sign up. And then all we need to do is put in our account name. So for this, I'll just put sample store and then sample store here. And your account, you can really name it whatever you want because you can, uh, if you have 10 or so stores, you can put them all under the same account. So you can just name it like my account or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and set up our first uh, website that we're going to be tracking. So what we would do is just take our URL right here. Now, um, since most people are going to have a custom domain because you're never going to use uh, this stupid My Shopify domain. Um, you're going to go ahead and set it up with your custom domain. You don't want to put your My Shopify domain in here. But since this is the sample store, I don't have a custom domain on it. So make sure you put your custom domain in here. And then our industry. I'm just going to put shopping because we're online shopping. And then you can pick your time zone. So I'll pick mine. And then we can go ahead and just click get tracking ID. And then accept. And now once we're in here, all we need to do is take our tracking ID right here and go over to our store and go to online store preferences and then go down here to where it says Google Analytics account and it says you can paste your code but if you really just paste your ID and hit save that'll be good enough and then the next thing you want to check is you want to make sure uh, you check enhanced e-commerce so we'll go ahead and check that and now we're gonna head back over to analytics and once we're back in here in analytics, we're going to come over to this sidebar menu here and then click admin. And then once we're at the admin area here, we're going to come over here to e-commerce settings. And then we're going to click that. We're going to open it. And then we're just going to enable e-commerce and then enable these. And then click save. And now our... Um, Google Analytics is all set up and it's going to start tracking things within our Shopify store and it's going to start tracking, um, it's get, start, going to start gathering a lot of data on sales and everything like that. So, All right, so now we just need to set up one more thing and we'll be good to go. So we're going to click back here and then we're going to go down here to tracking info and go to referral exclusion list and we're just going to add a referral in here. We're going to add paypal.com because if you're using paypal as a payment processor which the majority of us are 
Um, this is going to mess up some of your data with conversions and such. So yeah, now that we've got that set up, we are good to go. And with that said, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in another one.